Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to train our shoulders, added with a little bit of core work and of course calves, got to train those calf muscles. Starting off with dynamic stretching which takes about 4 to 5 minutes, that's all because I am going to perform the greatest stretch for 5 repetitions which takes around 2 minutes and then bird dog pose for another 5 repetitions each side with 5 seconds, 5 to 10 seconds of hold. Bird dog pose I hold for more than 5 seconds but with the greatest stretch I just hold a position for 3 to 5 seconds and then both and it's more than sufficient. It's just like a warm up mobility drill. Now I also as you know if you have been watching the videos if you are new I also sit in a deep squat before all my workout days just to ensure good hip mobility regardless of which body part I am working with. I have also added this tiny little thing of just slightly holding a stretch on my hamstring for a couple of seconds while transitioning from one dynamic moment to the other. Just sprinkling some things here and there to add on to things which I feel I need to work on a lot more like my hamstring uh, mobility which affects my squatting depth and also causes a little bit of butt wing. So yes, these are the things which I keep working on a regular basis, consistently hoping that you know eventually there comes a stage when corrections start happening. Now the bird dog uh, pose is to improve my core strength and stability before I start any movements. It helps me a lot and at least when it comes to compound lifting. When there is no compound lifting, it just adds on to the consistency of doing it every day and improving the strength overall. Now post completing these uh, on shoulder workout days, I make sure or at least try to add at least one mobility drill. That could be anything. This time I chose to do ray delt raises with overhead presses while lying face down on a bench and I sped up the video because it's pretty much simple and self explanatory as you can see. You take your palm, do ray delt raises and then you rotate your elbow and push up taking your shoulder to the entire range of motion, internal and external rotation, you know, getting blood flow in all the muscles which are completely hugging your shoulder joint. Now for the first exercise, we are going to start off with cable lateral raises, 3 sets, 15 repetitions each hand without taking a break, we switch from one arm to the other. I am using my straps to hold on to the cable to make the loading a little bit easier and get the load shift onto my wrist. You can also use wrist straps or ankle straps, just tie them on your wrist that will make it slightly a bit easier. You don't have to worry about gripping the cable and go a little bit heavier than usual. As you can see the range of motion is quite good. I go all the way, let my arms come across the body, feel the stretch on my lateral delt and from there I push back up all the way, get complete contraction, come down as slowly as possible. Now while switch after completing both your arms, you may take 30 to 45 seconds of break if you are out of breath or feel a little bit of tightness in your shoulders but otherwise you can jump from one arm to the other continuously and finish off this particular exercise very quickly. Make sure you go to the range of motion and the cable is always under tension, don't let the cable rest, feel the pulling, uh, I would say tension on your lateral delts at all times. Post completing those, I moved on to do some shrugs to improve my traps, upper trapezium especially. So three sets, as many repetitions as possible every set. So I was able to get 15 to 20 repetitions with a good heavy amount of load. The, all, the cue which I always use is to drive my shoulders towards my ears. Anatomically, it's not possible for me to touch it but when I do that, I tend to get a good amount of contraction on my uh, neck muscles which are basically traps and yes it feels great because feeling a pump in your neck muscles is quite different. It's unlike uh, your biceps or your triceps. So I make sure that I use that cue at all times to get maximum amount of contraction. Here too I don't rush through the range of motion. I go as slowly as possible especially while lowering the weight. I try to control it small range of motion because it's a small muscle and the momentum is small so there's not much you can control but as much as you can would be good. 
post completing shrugs we move on to a little bit of uh, i would say friend dealt work now this is something which i'm trying to see what suits better to me so i started doing the cable friend traces again three sets 15 repetitions not taking a break in between uh, while switching from one arm to the other and then taking a break about 30 seconds and then starting going off again this is something which i'm trying to see how good i'm able to connect with my friend dells how good it is in you know getting a lot of blood flow there so yes please do try if you feel like uh, it did work good i was able to get good amount of blood flow there my friend dells were a little bit pumped so yeah it works uh, the thing which i realized is i need to take my arm way long behind me to get that good amount of stretch on my friend delt and from there raise it up and as i come down try to slow down as much as possible to put that eccentric load on my friend delts yes my traps were getting in kicking in a lot in between that's because i have done the shrugs and also the movement involves trap movement uh trapezium movement so that's there that's one of the caveats Post completing these, I wanted to take a break before jump into any other kind of shoulder work. So I decided to start do my calf work. This time I chose to do seated calf races, three sets, as many repetitions as possible. Every set, slow and steady, full range of motion, holding the stretch part for a fraction of a second. Now you may choose to do standing calf races also or calf races on leg press absolutely your choice you may totally also skip this particular exercise if you already have amazing calves i do not at least i believe in my body proportions my calves can get a lot more bigger so consistent training for that make sure you drop your heels all the way down and then push up all the way uh, my gym does not have a seated calf race machine that's the reason i have done this setup with the leg extension machines uh, nothing other than that there's nothing special going on here if you're wondering what i'm trying to do um, other than that yes there's not much i try to keep the motion as slow as possible even during contractions because i feel when i do it really fast my tendons get uh, tired more earlier than my calf muscles now for the core work, I started off doing a little bit of ab roller work. Now this is something which needs a little bit of practice. Nothing difficult, but you just need to have a little bit more practice in terms of holding yourself at the stretched position. I did get a lot better in this while performing the exercise. I realized a few of the things which I was doing wrong after watching the video myself. But yes, your hips need to not need should not be moving much. It should be all the work should be happening at your abdominal area. You'll be crunching with your core and try to stretch as much as possible. Two to three sets of these, as many repetitions as possible. Every set should be good to go. Post completing that, I moved on to a little bit of plank work. Again, using a stability ball here. Elbows can rest softly on it not much of a stress and holding the plank with maintaining my body as completely in a line as possible from head to toes using my glutes to you know brace my core and keep my entire hips in a straight line no stress on lower back all the work is being done by my front core part which is my abdominals and a little bit of oblique work once in a while if i wobble a little bit but yes, that's it. We're done with today. We're done with our core work, our calves, and also our shoulder work. Pretty good exercise, uh, pretty good workout. I would try to do a little bit more experimentation with my shoulder workout to get a little bit more mind-muscle connection going on. But otherwise, I hope the workout was as effective for you as it was for me. Thank you so much for joining. If you did like the video, please do drop a like. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. Any feedback in the comment section is greatly appreciated. If you do have any great shoulder workout exercises, please do suggest. I'll try to incorporate them in my future videos. I'm just finishing off with a vertical hang just to decompress my shoulders and also get some, you know, uh, forearm work going on, forearm endurance work hang as long as possible thank you once again for watching the video till i'll see you in the next video till then have a good day